hey guys welcome back to another sit down video i haven't done this in forever whoa i am back okay content is coming now in today's video i am not coming to you guys as a youtuber as a content creator i am coming to you guys as a certified clinical officer a clinician and a current med student now i will be sharing with you guys 10 home remedies to deal with a bathroom cyst what is a bathroom cyst and why are we even talking about it? Now, I have had three people so far come into my inbox and ask me home remedies. Considering that I'm a medical student and that I've worked in a hospital before, I mean, people, some, some people look up to me and ask me medical questions, which I appreciate. So I have had three people come to me, ask me for home remedies of a bathroom cyst. And I'm like, I can as well just make a video about it. Now, what is a bathroom cyst? If you're 18, no, if you are less than 18, please, this video is not for you. Click out now, okay? So, when you enter your vagina, like this, on each side of the vagina, there is an opening. And that opening um, is called a bathroom gland. This bathroom gland is responsible for secreting fluid that lubricates your vagina. Now, this lubrication is not only important for conjugal activities or coital activities but nobody wants a dry vagina nobody wants to be walking around with so much friction so for it to be called a bathroom cyst it means these openings become obstructed okay they become clogged that the fluid that is normally secreted from the gland to the vagina is not going to the vagina but the fluid is still being secreted now it's like this gland is still producing the fluid, but the fluid is not able to go out from the gland into the vagina because the path has been obstructed. So this causes accumulation of the fluid in the gland. Now, the more fluid accumulates, the bigger it gets. And once it gets big, it's called a cyst. Okay? Now, a lot of people have been struggling with this, quest with, with this condition disclaimer 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 i don't have it i've never had it i don't have it i've never had it and i will never have it in jesus name but now the more fluid accumulates uh the bigger it gets and the more painful it gets now people are always going for surgery because i mean you have something down there what are you going to do now before i even go into that what are the disadvantages of having this cyst Number one, you cannot walk because it looks like this, all right? It gets bigger to this point that you cannot walk. It's because there is a lump and your body tells you to keep your legs apart. Once you bring your legs together, there's so much agonizing pain that your body just prefers your legs to be like this. Once you start walking, it, it doesn't help. Number two, it's just very uncomfortable. Having a dry vagina, there's so much friction and it's very uncomfortable, it's painful and agonizing, okay? Number three, you are deficit in pleasure. You have something down there. You cannot be penetrated or you cannot do the deed, okay? So it's not just about doing the deed, but we need the fluid just for our well-being. We need the vagina moist and soft, okay? Okay, so one thing that you should know about a bathroom cyst is that when you go for surgery to have it drained, a good number of people will be healed and everything will be fine and they will get back to normal. But majority of the people, it comes back. So you go for surgery, they drain it, three months later, four months later, it's back. It can just be shifting places from this side to this side or the same side, the same side, the same side, or come back the other side or the same side, the same side. It decides. So it has a high percentage of recurrence. Now, these surgeries are very expensive. One surgery is like 3,000 to 4,000. And mind you, it's not like a very huge surgery. It's not like you're removing my head and putting it back, or you're removing my liver and putting it back. It's just you open your legs, they make a small incision, just a cut, and then just drain it or pop it, and then they switch it back. It's, it's like really, really, really so simple, but it costs like 3,000 to 4,000 US dollars while you can do it at home like you just had home remedies so this is why i made this video i'm so sorry if this video is all over the place please bear with me 
I'm not used to making educational videos, so I'm guessing I'll make more of these if you guys want. But I wrote down the home remedies for you. And please, if you ever have it, or if you, have, if you know a person that has it, please share this video. It should reach as many people as it can. Now, these are the home remedies for buffalo and cyst. They help. You will get better. You don't need to spend 4,000. 4,000. I always confuse currencies. Not 4,000 rubles, but 4,000 US dollars. You don't have to spend 4,000 US dollars for something that you can only spend a 300 when doing your home remedies. Number one, a sitz bath. Now, what is a sitz bath? A sitz bath is where you put hot water in a big basin or in a bathtub or any big something. Now you put hot water and you put some salt and then you sit in the water. You make sure you squat so that your labias, the lips, as we call it in layman's language, so that they are on the water. Make sure you like squat properly. So at least for like 20 to 30 minutes. So, or you can make it real boiling, but you don't really actually sit in the water. You sit on top of the water so that the steam it's like a steam therapy where the steam reaches a place you cover yourself with like a bathing towel or anything that the, 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 the steam should not escape number two um warm compress warm compress everybody knows what a warm compress is it's you boil some water you have a piece of cloth and you know you take that that cloth you dip it in i mean warm compress is self-explanatory i don't have to explain that number three is apple cider vinegar so what you do is you take some apple cider vinegar apple cider is that how you call it apple cider vinegar and you mix it with water warm water and then you take like some cotton pads some cotton balls you dip it in the warm warm water mixed with apple cider vinegar let it soak and then you put on the cyst repeat not just once at least four five ten times i mean the the more you do it the better Number four, aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel helps. And I'll explain, um, okay. So the essence of these methods mainly, it is to open up the openings, to open up the pores, because we want this fluid to be excreted. So most of this, we, we, we know that, like when you do seeds bath or warm compress, it helps to open up the pores of the body. So once you do that, those obstructions are like, sucked in whatever is there it's sucked in and it helps with opening of the opening does that make sense opening of the opening yeah now yeah so the sits the, the aloe vera gel you just apply take the gel apply on your what do you call it your cyst or you can use tea tree oil tea tree oil I really 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 hope you enjoyed this video please if you did comment down below give me some feedback and also give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and please let me know what other videos you want me to do if I should do more of these educational videos or if I should do pranks challenges vlogs anything that you want please comment down below the thing that would get the most the comment that would get most likes on what I should do next is what I'm going to do now Bitches out. Peace. Stay safe.